Hello guys, I'm Pixpark and today I will be giving you my dream team update for Premier League match week 10. Yes, the big 10. This is when everything starts to come into play. Enjoy! <laughs> Ben Foster of West Brom, but I transferred him out and transferred in Hugo Lloris of Tottenham, who scored me six points. In right back, I had Charlie Daniels of Bournemouth, who scored me zero points. In right centre back, I had Carl Walker of Man City, who scored me two points. In the left centre back, I had Harry Maguire of Leicester, who scored me eight points. And in the left back, I had Marcus Alonso of Chelsea, who scored me three points. In right centre mid, I had Aaron Mui of Huddersfield, who scored me. In right central midfield, I had Mohamed Salah of Liverpool, who scored me 7 points. In left central midfield, I used to have Mazat Ozil of Arsenal, but I transferred him out and I uh, transferred in Anthony Nokia of uh, Brighton, who scored me 0 points. And in left midfield, I had Felipe Coutinho of Liverpool, who scored me 0 points. In right striker, I had Harry Kane of Tottenham, who scored me 5 points. And in left striker, I had Alexandre Lacazette of Arsenal, who also scored me. So, now on to my weekend up. In guy had Matthew Ryan of Brighton, who scored me zero points. In right defence, I had Maya Yoshida of Southampton, who scored me zero points. In left defence, I had Antonio Rudiger of Chelsea, who scored me in right midfield, I had Leroy Fur of Swansea. In left midfield, I had Riyad Mahrez of Leicester. In right striker, I had Andre Ayew of West Ham. He scored me eight points. And in left striker, I had Mame Juf of Stoke. He scored me eight points. Please like this video um, if you have enjoyed it, and if you want to see more content from my channel, then please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hello, Garnadon. Um, so, the power of free. Um, now, uh, this is from the era that I really enjoyed uh, Doctor Who. Because I was a, a fan uh, from The Girl Who Waited, which is the back in the Series 6. I think I enjoyed the back in the Series 6, despite how much criticism it gets now. And I enjoyed Series 7 Part 1. It was only really until Series 7 Part 2, and especially Series 8. But I really started to get critical of the uh, show. Um, this was a time when, even if I think an episode's not that good, in hindsight, I loved it at the time. Now, uh, getting on, um, I must say that uh, the pink title sequence, really... Now, I love the this usual 11th Doctor's first title sequence. It's probably one of my favourites, if not my favourite. Just because it's from my era from who. It's my first title sequence. I love the music in it as well. But seriously, what did they do? I hate what they did with the title sequences in Series 7 anyway. But seriously, pink and purple. I hope they do, do this for the female Doctors. Uh, no, for, sorry. For Jodie Whittaker's uh, title sequence. I really hope they do do that. It does feel this episode like a throwback to the RTD um, era with, like, the Earthbound, um, who are the Grillmouth guys, I'm not really sure, this episode leaves a lot to be desired, to be honest, I'm not really sure who the Chakri are, it's a bit of a, a rushed ending, uh, this one, um, and we're doing the whole Doctor Life real life thing again, which uh, I'm not really, uh, that happy about, everybody lives again, not a fan of, um, Matt Smith's my personal favourite Doctor, but he's a bit iffy in this one. Some interesting concepts, but the lack of humour and a rush ending makes it a bore to watch. It's worrying that our future show when I wrote this. I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 10. See you guys next week.